We're back. Chapter Two. Little lamb eats the wolf. A man's gonna come. He's gonna be dangerous. He's gonna make me feel like it might be safe, but I can't trust him. Apparently, according to the cat. Who? I don't know. It, it seemed kind of. It was definitely unsettling, because you don't know what the cat's intentions are and why we're being given this chance and all that. Well, maybe let's give everything a chance first. Was Burnhouse Lane real, or did I just imagine it? No, it didn't feel like a dream at all. And if the burned cat was right, that means... I could be cured. I could get my second chance. I'd never waste another minute of my life ever again. But I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Let's just see what happens. It's morning already. I've been away all night. I wonder if George is all right. The burned cat has given Angie a special gift. She will be able to make one person tell the truth, no matter the circumstances. Okay. Mr. Gray, once a day, force someone to tell uncomfortable truth. Interesting. The first power, Mr. Gray. Yes. Use during conversation when you see a star sign next to a dialogue option. However, Angie can only use this power once a day. Does one day equal one chapter? The red sign means that the power is already depleted. You can check the status of cat powers on the inventory screen. Interesting. I'm gonna want to save it up, but what if I save it up so much that... I just pass the whole day without having used it, right? It's a little scary. A cat clock. Oh! Fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely great. Let's go find George. Okay, <laughs> no need for the big old wardrobe just yet. We should turn on the lights around here. This whole place is just a little bit too freaky. George? Hmm. Maybe he got up to the washroom? Maybe he's gone downstairs already? By himself. It's just the color on the blankets, right? It looks kind of red. It scares me. He could be upstairs too, so we'll look around here as well. Although... Bathroom... Maybe he's just watching TV. George? Close that. Don't want to see it. George? Oh no. First day on the job. This ain't great. Morning, dear. Looking for Joyce. Joyce! <sighs> I need to talk to her rather urgently. Is she around? He let himself in. Does that mean he has the key? He sounds like he's familiar. Maybe George's son or something. But at the same time, he's also completely unalarmed that someone not Joyce is in this house. Like, he's just talking to me. Who are you? Oh. You're not from around here, are you? 
Exciting. An outsider. We don't get a lot of outsiders around here. I'm Father Rob Collins. Father. Lovely to meet you. And you either. Hi. So, where's Joyce? Joyce, can I talk to you for a minute? How rude. He's just yelling over me as if I'm hiding her or something. I am Joyce. I'm Joyce for now. I know who Joyce is. It's the previous nurse who's currently away right now. Who's Joyce? You know, Joyce Garland. She's got this uh, punk rocker look. Red hair on top, bold on the sides. Oh, never mind. Lots of piercings everywhere. She looks after old George. Oh, okay. Oh, the carer. Why don't you just say so? Yeah, um, she's not here. Was in a car accident, apparently. Broke a leg, I think. I'm here covering for her while she gets better, but it might take her a few weeks before she's able to work again. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is just not good at all. What did you want from Joyce? It's... I'm afraid I'm not allowed to talk about it. I'm sure you understand that what's said in the confessional stays in the confessional. Can we talk about how you just let yourself in the house? Ooh, this seems like it might be important, huh? I have two. I guess I can waste one a little bit earlier on. Oh, go on. I won't tell anyone. Well, in that case... Okay, I... I just wanted to buy some of those special herbs from her. Oh! She's been growing them underground in her secret place. She wouldn't show me where, only she knows. Oh. Okay, I get it. You were looking to buy some pot. <laughs> uh, sorry, just felt a little dizzy. My head's all funny. Take a deep breath, and you'll be fine. What? Trust me, I'm a nurse. I, um... What were we talking about? Morning, oh. nurse. Morning, father. What? Another one? Who are you and how did you get in? That's just Kieran. Don't mind him. He lives on the farm and does the sheep. Quite literally, I've heard people say. Don't Ooh. listen to that fool, nurse. He just likes to bully people, he does. Well, you're Welsh, right? And I've seen you around sheep. I'm a bloody shepherd. Of course I'm around sheep. We look after them. These poor creatures look absolutely terrified every time you get near them. That's exactly what I thought last time I came to your Sunday Mass, Father. <laughs> and when was that, Kieran? Ten years ago? Twenty? Stop bickering, you two! I'm very alarmed that there's two people we don't know inside this house. Inside! Without me letting them in. Why didn't the daughter tell me anything? Oh my gosh. Yeah, George! George is missing! What did you want, Kieran? Well, I was on my way to the sheep pen to feed my sheep, not do anything horrible, right? So I'm walking through the east yard towards the house. I'm not too happy, because oh it's God. absolutely pissing with rain out there, and I can already feel I have water in my boots. But then guess what I see? Poor old George is sitting right on top of the barn. Oh! I called out to him, I said, come on down mate, you're gonna fall. But he just blanked me. So I thought I, I can't deal with this. Cause really, I'm just here to look after the sheep. <laughs> Crazy old people are way above my pay grade. Shit. Isn't it your responsibility to keep an eye on George at all times, nurse? Leave me to the barn, Kieran. I'll deal with this. Let's all go. 
By the sound of it, this situation may call for some divine intervention. Hmm, so they're introducing two men at the same time, and we don't necessarily know which is the man that the cat is talking about. Uh, oh, we gotta go this way. I don't like the father. Kieran... Kieran's appearance is not conventionally attractive, but let's not judge a book by its cover. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Thank you, Kieran. How did George even... Oh, you can kind of see him on the very top corner. How did he even get up there? Up there! Fuck. <clears throat> Sorry. But why would he go up there? Why don't you tell us? You're the caretaker. George! Come down for goodness sake! See? Nobody listens to you, mate. And neither does George. He probably can't hear me from up there. Mmm. If you can't hear, well... Are you any good at climbing, Kieran? Oh, no. I ain't going up there, nurse. I'm sorry. The planks are all rotten through. And those ladders? Well, they weren't built for a man of my stature. Oh, your weight. Can you just bugger off? I don't even eat much. I got a fat gene from my mother. That makes my agility a wee low. So what? Oh, I've seen you step dancing at the village fest. No fat gene hindering you there. Please, men. Stop. Oh. Already? No, but this seems pretty reasonable, though. He doesn't look like he would be good at climbing. I'll save this one, I think. Yeah. Fine. Last thing we need is you getting stuck on the roof as well. Father Rob, any ideas? I wish the Almighty gave us angels' wings at times like this. But since he doesn't, I think I'll resort to the next best thing. Which is... I'll pray for his safety, dear. <sighs> Leave it to me. I'll do it. Oh, yeah, this comes up pretty often. The whole pot thing. In the UK, is pot illegal? I don't know. I guess it is because, well, a father and pot, <laughs> not the... It's a bit of a scandalous combination, I suppose. That's why he was trying to be all wishy-washy and not forthcoming about it. I guess it's better than nothing. Has George done this before? I wouldn't know. I usually stay with a sheep. <laughs> I swear, if you call me a bloody sheep shagger once more... Well, I've not called you anything. But you know what they say, Kieran. There's no smoke without fire. Please, men. We don't have time for this. <laughs> it is tall. This is one tall barn. It's very old, too. George told me that his father built it back in the 50s. Great. That'll make climbing it even more exciting. I wonder if you can see my church from up there. Why don't you climb it and find out? Well, uh... I'm not that curious. I'll do it. You're both useless. I'll get him. Good. That's what Joyce would do. Be careful up there. You guys have been talking entirely way too much, casually, while an old man is kind of in a scary situation. Well, see, that wasn't so bad. Oh! Oh! Hey, lady! You're trying to kill me! Did you see that? This metal rod almost impaled me. Sorry, I suppose. Don't stand under there, okay? It's, uh, 
a little bit dangerous. <laughs> they tricked me. They put the light over there on the other ladder on purpose. That's a huge crate. It's nailed shut. <laughs> Hold on, George. I'm doing things that I don't understand for some reason. Can't push it. There's something heavy inside. Okay. George? Can you hear me? I could climb out through this window and onto the ledge outside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna make a jump? George, can you hear me? Speak to me. George, please. Oh, I didn't sign up for this. Did anyone even buy insurance for me? I don't think so. Uh, okay, it's telling me that I should go out the other window, right? Or... Because I can't actually jump over there. The window that's like... Maybe that's why I want to... But if there's something... <laughs> mm. If it's nailed shut. Ah. If it's nailed shut. Screwdriver? I mean, I don't think that's right. Box cutter won't cut through solid wood. And I can't push it. There's something heavy inside. Either we get multiple people to come push it, or we figure out how to remove that heavy thing inside. Oh, George. Well, I don't really think there's too much else around here. Am I missing something terribly simple? Men, please. Oh, the rod! The bottom part of the broken ladder. It was this close! I'm better next time. Wait, I didn't mean that in a mean way, okay? <laughs> that was kind of snarky. Oh. What the? What a beautiful animal. <laughs> I'm just ignoring George! Okay! You know what? That totally works. T Sitting on a wet bench in the pouring rain seems like a really terrible idea. I think it's an aster. They bloom in late summer and early autumn. It's quite pretty. Like a flower? Asters are one of the few flowers that blossom this time of year. I wouldn't mind having them on my grave once I'm gone, but is there anyone in my life who would even remember me? I don't want to think about it. Oh, no, no, Angie, no. This is Kieran's trailer. Not the best accommodation, but I definitely prefer him to stay here rather than in the house. People need to tell me that there's other people around the farm. I thought George was completely alone. The scoped rifle looks like I could kill an elephant. Oh. Empty wine bottles. The place is full of them. Kieran likes to drink, that's for sure. Scoped shotgun? Damn, he's a proper gun nut. There's a whole rack of guns here! That's a lot of guns! Clearly he's obsessed with them. I'm not on Burnhouse Lane anymore. Besides, I'm an agency nurse, not a mercenary. Because <laughs> that's the only thing stopping you from picking it up. Okay, Kieran has guns. Maybe let's not piss him off then. He has a lot of guns. We have a horse here. So there are some people maintaining the farm. The barn and all that. It's not just... me. Really rude of the daughter to not tell me about this beforehand. And we... I didn't get to ask why the father just busted in the house without even saying anything. How does he have the key anyway? It was part of a ladder once. Can I... What? Oh, he... Oh, okay. Can you please give us a word of warning before you start dropping heavy objects from up there? I mean, it was a close one this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
There is an enormous bag of potatoes inside. Open bag. The only way to open it is to cut through the canvas. Okay, men. Here's your warning. Mind your heads down there. It's about to rain potatoes. This seems... Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe we can have those potatoes for dinner. Yes. All right. We're in the mainframe. Yes, George? Whoa, 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 what's the split screen? I don't like it. Is he gonna do something? George. Hey. Mm. Let's chill out first. Nice view. Hmm? You can see for miles from up here. I... That's a very unconventional thing to say. But he doesn't seem to be in any immediate danger, and everything else is basically yelling at him, so let's try this one. Do you mind if I sit down with you? You sure? You'll get a wet bum. It doesn't matter. I'm soaked through already. Embrace life. Tell me a story, George. You don't want to hear it. Yes, I do. Tell me about your life here. What was it like? Well... I've had a very good life on this farm, but uh, it took me a while to realise that. When I was young, I wanted to go out there and see the America that I knew from the movies, see the Wild West for myself. But I never did. It used to be my father's farm, and when he passed away, he left it to me. He was an angry man. Always shouted at people. Anyway, I was convinced I'd follow in his footsteps and live a, a mediocre life I never wanted. Until something happened. It was the 4th of September, two years after Dad had passed away. Today? I was on my tractor, heading up the hill to mend the fence, when I heard a crash. I stopped suddenly. I got off, and I saw this bicycle, all crumpled up, sticking out right from under the tractor's front wheel. And I saw a lady's foot. Oh. I had no idea at the time that six months later, we would marry that foot and its owner, and that it would be the love of my life. Penny was her name. She was a new vet in town and the most gorgeous woman I'd ever laid eyes on. I picked her up in my arms, my heart racing, ready to rush her into hospital. But she just smiled and said, Are you George Taylor? Or are you, you have a sheep that's poorly? <laughs> Would you believe she was more concerned about the sheep than herself? Bless her. She really loved animals more than anything. Luckily, she wasn't nearly as damaged as her bicycle. Just a couple of scratches and a sprained ankle, which was quite extraordinary, considering she'd been hit by a bloody tractor. We waited for her, with a bouquet of flowers in my right hand, <laughs> and a box of chocolates in my left, right outside the hospital. We both knew that this was meant to be. My lovely darling Penny. <sighs> I tell you, she turned my life upside down. The farm that I despised so much finally became a home. All of a sudden, I couldn't care less about Wild West and the cowboys. Penny opened a veterinary clinic here. Then, Sarah was born, 
and we started a family. Life was good. But good lives don't last forever. They're always followed by the dark times. There was an accident one day. We had a lot more horses here back then. There was this one bad stallion, Derek, he was called. Nasty old thing. He jumped and kicked Penny suddenly while she were giving it injections. And she just flew and hit her head on the wall. She didn't die straight away. I was in the hospital with her for three days, watching the life in her slowly drain away. She was only 42. That's too young to go. Too young. That must have been quite a good few years ago then. A few decades, really. But hey, look at me rambling on. Oh, I didn't mean to bore you with my old man's stories. See you back at the house, dear. How did he get up? Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay. N not boring at all. I think Angie deeply yearns for someone to listen to her stories, just like how we listen to his. Mm, that's a nice cup of tea. It'll warm you up, George. You'll be all right. Of course he'll be all right. He's a tough bloke. He wrestled bears and punched wolves back in his days. Damn. Am I right, George? Oh, we don't know about the bears, Kieran. Hmm. Where's Father Rob? He said he was going to look around. What? Yeah? I bet he's snooping again. Uh... Why is there a goat here? Or a sheep? The sheep is inside the house. <laughs> okay. Why are you here, Kieran? What do you mean? I live here. <laughs> Not in this house, you don't. But I've known George for a long time. We're all pals. He doesn't mind. You don't mind, do you, George? Oh, I don't mind, Kieran. Well, I suppose that's okay then. Well, if George doesn't mind, then neither do I, I guess. You can stay. I mean, as long as you don't sneak up on people or, like, murder me. Angie, that's I rude. Won't murder you? Nah. Too much trouble getting rid of the body. <laughs> Besides, let's just be friends for George's sake. No, we don't have to be friends just for his sake. If you're nice, I'm totally okay with being your friend. <laughs> Why are we so hostile? Fair enough. I'm not looking for enemies. I tell you what, I'll cook dinner for everyone first, and then we'll shoot some bottles. How about that? Oh, so you can cook too. Hell yeah, I can. I make a smash and roast lamb with Brussels sprouts and mint sauce and all. George loves it, but there's no oven in my caravan, so we'd have to cook here. I don't know, Kieran. I think we could all use a proper meal after a morning like this. But I I'm going to need some cooking wine. I doubt there's any here. George has always been a sherry kind of guy. Someone say sherry? <laughs> There's a bottle of red in my caravan. Could you get it for me, please? Why can't you get it yourself? A dinner like this is a lot of work. I'll never make it on time if I don't get started on the vegetables straight away. Great, I'll do Plus, that. <laughs> ah, the old leg's hurting, like a son of a bitch. And you'll be walking that way anyway. Joyce always does, this time of day. To do what? To feed Richard some carrots. Richard? The horse. He lives in the box just outside the big barn. The box. Okay, where do I find carrots? That's probably something I should do. Give cold Donner kebab to Kieran. <laughs> Why? 
Uh, I mean, I don't want it, right? Uh, you can have it if you want. Are you hungry? Have you had your breakfast yet? Because you can have this doner kebab if you want. Oh, nice. You sure you don't want it? I'm sure. <laughs> yes. All right. Nice. Let's be friends. Ah, this will keep me going until dinner. Cheers, nurse. Sweet. Carrots, you say? You sure Richard's not a rabbit? All horses love carrots. Don't you know that? Um, yeah, sure. Of course I knew that. <laughs> you go in then, because I'm sure Richard's starving. Okay. I'll go then. Anything else I should do while I'm there? Milk the cows? Harvest the crops? Steal a gun? No. Just get the wine and give Richard some carrots so he can love you forever. Okay. But you better watch George while I'm gone. Well, I won't let him out of my sight, nurse. Does George need to be watched? So far, he seems entirely competent in every way possible. Maybe aside from cooking. At least somebody else is cooking. September- oh, today is September 4th. Yes. What are you even doing here? <laughs> are you deaf? Well, hey, that's mean. That man's gonna turn you into dinner. Run! <laughs> We're not eating, Midge. There's lamb meat in the freezer, silly. Oh, God! Oh. <laughs> right. Then, I guess you can relax, Midge. Just don't look in the freezer. Yeah, we're not gonna eat you. We're just gonna eat your friend, that's all. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to look around the house a bit because is the father snooping around everywhere or what is he doing? Still have no answer for why somebody was torturing mice in here. I never took the hammer. I can take the whole toolbox. Guess the electrician never came back. Oh, it's a, it's a nice fine day. I can't believe nobody told me about- Where did the father even come from? He doesn't live around here, right? So he drove here, or got here somehow, and then he just let himself in because he needed pot so badly. I guess if we know certain things about certain people, then we can use it to our advantage later on. Oh, uh, that makes me so nervous though, because we've already had three opportunities come up. But only two uses of my power in total. So we'll never be able to find out everything. Uh, there is some empty wine. I know the father... Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. He mentioned that Joyce was... Th the herbs were downstairs. Could it be in the basement? There's a strange sound coming from the other side. The vines I thought might have been related to, like, herb stuff, but maybe here is not what they were talking about. I just checked all upstairs and he's nowhere to be found. There's nobody anywhere. Mm, maybe he just went somewhere else to get his pot because he couldn't get it here. Eh. Tons of things to do. Gotta go feed the horse. Let's get going. Can we get the potatoes? I don't think anybody... Hey, we cleaned up. Somehow. Hi, Richard! The crate's filled with carrots. This horse clearly loves them. <laughs> oh, good. Good. You want more carrots? He's been fed today already. <laughs> Earlier, Angie made it sound like only the only possible animal that could like carrots are rabbits. It's Richard the horse. Can we sit here now? Just, uh, take in life. Embrace life, you know? 
It's been a long day. I've had a long night. Not sure what happened, but I'm dealing with it remarkably well. Not freaking out. Not even asking other people, hey, do you know about Burnhouse Lane? No, we're just gonna take it as it is. Empty wine bottles. A non-empty wine bottle. Red wine. Cheap, but good enough for cooking. We did look at everything already. I don't have a gun on me. Okay. All this fine weaponry in the hands of a drunken retard. Don't you think it's a recipe for disaster? I'm a little bit wary about agitating him when he has a gun. I... it's really none of my business. Business? Yes, we should talk business, me and you. Joyce simply wouldn't have gone without telling you about the lab. I mean, someone has to look after it, right? Oh, dang it. Yeah, he might tell me about the the pot anyway without me having to use my power. Oh, the lab? Yes, the lab, where she makes it. Who? The carer? I've had enough of this shit. It's time to spill the beans, city girl. Whoa! Where's the lab? Whoa! I... Where the fuck is it? <gasps> you will confess to everything. It's just a matter of time. Hey, for the chalk thing, giving giving the man to the cat, all I gotta do is draw an X somewhere, right? Oh, it's definitely this guy, right? He's... What the hell? What is wrong with him? Well, probing him, let us find out that it's for pot. Where am I? Well, I wonder if we could have escaped that. We don't have the wine! We don't have the wine! It's a solid brick wall. Ah, can we... Okay. I was thinking about the whole dashing thing. Dashing breaks weak walls. Nope. Not even if I had a sledgehammer. This here is solid rock. Hospital bed. I've seen enough of these in all my years as a nurse. Don't think we need to sleep for now. I shouldn't waste time on sleeping. This could be my only chance to escape. Where the hell? Are we back on Burnout House Lane? It's locked tight. Of course it is. I'm a prisoner here. Not good. This looks like dried up blood. Ooh. It's all cracked and unstable. Maybe I can knock it down somehow? We can dash, right? This wall is ancient. There has to be a way I can break it. Damn. That was kind of extreme. <laughs> Stress smoke. She looks like she belongs in a cigarette commercial. Hold up. Let's check out the end of this first. Oh, that's it. This place looks medieval. The architecture is not the same as before. Is it a church? I could jump down there without breaking my legs, I think? Confessional? 
I've never seen a mechanism like this before. Reunion. Salvation, relationship, triumph. Forgiveness. Abandonment. Some kind of a puzzle. Distress. We can't touch everything? Okay. Reunion. Distress. Locked. I just want to have dinner. I just want to get wine for dinner. The inscription reads, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Today you will be with me in paradise. It's weird music. Woman, behold thy son, behold thy mother. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Well, there's numbers on top of these inscriptions. Do they match up with the numbers? Like the um, reunion relationship stuff? I thirst. It is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. They don't seem like they correspond to anything greatly. Is that blood on the wall? Locked, but I should keep looking for a key. This gate looks like it leads up to the surface. Our ultimate goal then? This door doesn't open from this side. Okay. Hmm. There aren't very many places we can go to. Well, let's see. The first one... Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Today you will be with me in paradise. Father, forgive them. I could jump down the place. There is one that's forgiveness. Father, forgive them. Uh, paradise, salvation. Oh, it's on the side, thank you. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Forgiveness? Two and three? I guess we don't need to do it because I can't even touch it. Triumph, four. No, four. My god, my god, why hast thou forsaken me? Abandonment. I thirst. Distress? It is finished. It is finished. It is finished? Of all these ones, I guess, triumph? Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Reunion. Actually didn't quite understand that last one. I commend my spirit is reunion. A key and a piece of paper. 1010. There's four digits written down on a piece of paper. A cell key. It must unlock something important if Rob went to all this trouble to keep it safe. We're immediately assuming Rob is the one who... Well, of course he is. He's the one who put us here. This is... Cell key. Oh, well, I guess it could be maybe... Oh, there's a lot of locked doors around here, actually. That's not gonna work. Oh, the wall? Ah, that was just to introduce to me that the solid wall we can't dash through. But the weak one we can. Wait, so does that mean that the locked door on my right side is just the door that we just saw? I don't have to worry about it? Oh. Okay. So it is the same place, but we unlocked it. Oh, I don't like it, because I kind of... I feel like that sort of implies that something's going to chase me, and then I can kind of um, kite it around or something. This should be new. Sorry. 
surgical tools. Shit. I don't even want to know what he uses them for. It looks empty. It's still empty. <laughs> we can put stuff inside. We should use the chalk and like, you know, when he comes. It's a calendar from 2009. Life was easy back then. Ten years ago. There was all sorts of medication inside. With all this stuff, you could put an elephant to sleep. Interesting that you say elephant again. Because Kieran's inside his trailer. The gun said, oh, you can kill an elephant with this gun. And here, elephant again. Most of these drugs are hospital use only. How did he manage to get them? Wait a second. What's this? Adrenaline shot. You mean take as in put it in your inventory, right? Not take as in ingest it. Okay. It should be injected straight into the patient's heart. It's filthy and it stinks of rotten meat. Oh, I'm not sure if I... Ooh, what is that? Some part of me expected a severed head, but there's just one pretty little cupcake inside. The meat reminds me of Downfall. I guess he has a sweet tooth? There's a cupcake inside of- okay. It looks delicious, but I would be reluctant to eat it knowing where it came from. It wasn't inside a well-maintained fridge, it's just that it was covered in blood splatters. That's all. Hey, there's a little peephole in the wall. So he can see me. Not sure what to do with this information. Okay, I feel like we've done too much. It's about time he comes back and tries to like haunt me and stuff, right? I'm scared! I'm scared! <sighs> yeah, I need that stress smoke, definitely. <laughs> so he can peep. Well, I can peep at whoever's inside here too. Hmm. Do you want to eat the cupcake? We have adrenaline shot. We have... Well, we have more... We have more keys. We haven't jumped down to the section below yet. Don't think this is going to be that easy. Yeah. The door... Okay, just checking. No. Okay. Where did he even bring me? Is this not on the farm anymore? Why is there music? So faint. It's the loudest here. Gone if I go in though. Weird. Mm. Oh, there's the music. It's the kind of floodlight you would normally find on a movie set or an archaeological digging site. Nothing happens. I guess it's not plugged in. The mural? I feel like we've seen that before. When we were falling down somewhere. He's there. I can hear him. You might as well say it. But... It's just the Lord listening. And the Lord can see through your lies. You are such a bad, dirty woman. I'm disappointed with you, Jennifer. I'm... sorry. 
I'll be better, Father. Oh, we both know that's just another lie. But fine, we'll do it the hard way. Since you keep asking for a rod, I shall not spare it. No. Oh! No, no, no! We'll slice off the evil in you, so you are ready to accept God into your heart. Shut it down! Oh, you father! It is the Bible that says the mouth of an adulteress is a deep pit. He who is under the wrath of the Lord will fall into it. Oh my God. Only repentance can bring forgiveness for a depraved soul. For each action, a consequence. For each sin, punishment. I can't help. Oh, so you are finally willing to open your sinful heart and confess. Yes, shut the thing down, shut it. Fine. I'll give you two minutes to compose yourself, Jennifer, to think things through, and to pray. Then we shall start again. I sincerely hope we have more than two minutes. I've heard enough. It's time to act now. It's some sort of chest, I think? All I know is that it's old and heavy. I could probably push it, but I can't see any reason to do it now. And it might be loud. It's sealed shut. Maybe that's better. There's probably just some old bones inside. We- there was a key in that place he was sitting. We need to help that woman, right, Jennifer? Cheap plastic sunflowers. It's playing the same song on repeat. This must be his favorite record. We can stop it, but I won't for now. It might bring him here. Welcome to our home. Family gathers here. Okay. He's made quite a family nest for himself down here. It's a big old wooden wardrobe with plenty of room inside. A great hiding place, but potentially also a death trap. Ew. Oh, it's stone. Okay, there's some kind of code. Uh, how about 1010? Thank you. Oh! What the- Okay, that's not what I was expecting! Numerous lacerations, bruises, stab wounds... Poor girl. Her flesh has already started to rot in several places. Looks like that fucking pervert has kept her in here for a long time. She's still alive, but her pulse is fading. Her heart will stop if I don't do something quickly. I'm a nurse, but what can I do? He's... wait... There's bags of blood connected to her? And there's a woman in the back too! Or is that just a statue? I don't know. This guy... what the hell is wrong with this guy? Oh, uh, this brings us back to... I guess... The top floor? I don't have a gun. I don't have a weapon. We have to do this smartly. So that's opened. <sighs> well, let's save while we're here. The peephole... This room... If we don't have a gun, then all we can really do is distract him. Distract them by using maybe a combination of the lights and stopping the record. There was a wardrobe that we could hide in, but potentially also a death trap, as Angie noted. 
The light won't turn on for some reason. Maybe I can plug it in. The other light's on. I can rotate it. Is he still there? He's there. I can hear him. No. If I go in, he'll see me, and I won't be this lucky again. Yeah. This is too heavy to push. Like, I could hide in there if I could open... Mm, but if I open it, how can I close it while I'm inside? Let's have a plan here. Should I try turning off the record and then... Well, we'll see what happens. We'll have to... If he sees me, he might chase after me. But if I can run faster than him, then... <sighs> Bloody thing. Always breaking. I'm gonna leave for now, but... The wardrobe scares... I don't think the wardrobe would kill me, though. But is he just gonna go turn it on and then go back, or what? The bad thing about me going this way is that I don't know what he's doing. Where were we, Jennifer? Okay, so we... It's not possible for me to wrap around like this and still be faster than him. Which means we gotta find a faster way. Feels like my bones are breaking every time. The light we still haven't been able to um, figure out. How can my journey be any faster? Cause he's, he only goes up to the record and then he goes, turns around, right? So, if I hide here, in the wardrobe, I'll never be faster than him. Should I just try it, just to see what he does? What if he sees me? Will he chase hey. after me? I must remember to buy you one. I can't be faster than him. Right, that doesn't really do anything for me. Oh, damn. He saw me. Well, now we know what happens. <laughs> now we know what happens. Good thing I saved. So there's no amount of chasing then. Now we know there's no chasing because he has a gun. He doesn't have to chase after me. This peephole stuff might be for something else then. What about the adrenaline shot? On this lady here? She's still alive. Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit. Is he not coming? It doesn't sound like he is. Oh, maybe he only comes after I turn off the record? Dude! Lady! Lady! He couldn't hear. Bloody thing. Always breaking. He couldn't hear her over the sound of the record? That's insane. But now we have our way to go past them. Oh, she sounds like she's in so much pain. Oh, what? Did I not wait long enough? No, you know what? This is probably the whole thing about how the wardrobe is a death trap. Because you know what we could do? We could just activate the record, or turn it off, 
and then run upstairs and then go down. Yeah, actually, that would probably be the better way then. The wardrobe is not a good place. At least I don't think it was. Okay, let's try this again then. I'm sorry, lady. I, I'll come save you, okay? You're s you sound like you're in so much pain. It, uh, I don't even know if this is helping you. I'm kind of reviving you, but it's making you scream out loud in pain. <sighs> Bloody thing. Always breaking. Okay, we know that we roughly have enough time. But he'll be distracted by this girl, so... We should be able to have even more time than usual. I'll save you, okay? I'll come save you, just... Huh? Hey, let me! Yeah, let me walk! I don't have time! Aww. Uh. Hurry up. Hold a lever? Oh god. What a strange contraption. It seems its purpose is to not take confessions, but rather to interrogate and torture. I don't wanna- but there's a girl here though, right? So I don't wanna um, accidentally kill her or anything. Black cable. White cable. Uh. Um. Oh, okay, we released her. He's gonna come back. Are you okay? Wait. You're Jenny Wilde. The actress. What? Yeah. <gasps> and who the fuck are you? I've been trapped here just like you, but I'm breaking out. Wanna join me? Hell yeah. Yeah! <sighs> I don't know you, but I already like you. Okay, we gotta find a plan then because this guy has a gun and we... We need... Damn! So before I let her out, I need to... Um... Yeah, I need to find some way to secure the situation first. I guess it's related to the big chest that I can push and stuff. The key that we picked up, what can we lock or unlock? Even if I lock the door that leads to the booth, it's not gonna help because the cell is... Like, the cell is... it's bars. It's not gonna block gunshots. Okay, I'll deal with a woman later on. This old key is my ticket out of this godforsaken dungeon. Oh no, I gotta save everybody here. I'm not leaving alone. It won't block the door if I don't close it first. Hurry up, hurry up! But the light... Does the light help? Okay, does that... Does that whole thing help? I don't think we should check it out. Let's just... But the other lady, can I save her as well? Hey lady, I think we're safe for real this time. Wait, you're Jenny Wilde, the actress. Yeah. And who the fuck are you? Uh, let's be a bit sassy now. You're a fucking savior, that's who I am. <laughs> Good. I've been waiting for you. I think your vicar friend might be coming back any second now, so... <sighs> right. Let's get the hell out of here, shall we? 
Mm. We can still plug her on fire. No! Oh no! Oh no! Trying to blind me, bitch! That's not gonna work! I have stared into the light of God himself! And it only made me a stronger man! Fuck, fuck, fuck! How do we get back up? How do we get back up? He might- he can shoot me from this this- Ah! Well, look at that. Do you think we could climb up that rubble? I guess. But he needs to stop bloody shooting at us. Huh. That shouldn't be a problem. He's down. One of the bricks hit him right in the face. Oh, I feel so bad for the lady, but I think she might have been too far gone already. That works. Could we have done it without killing the other lady? Come on. I think it might be hard. Oh my god, lady, you gotta walk faster. We're trying to escape here, and you're like... <laughs> you're doing Hurry. this... Okay, okay. Um... Do you mind if I check a little bit? I mean, the... No, thanks! That would lead us straight into Rob's arms! I was thinking there might be secrets if we go check, but never mind. Well, we could have left ourselves. Could we have? I don't think so, actually, because... Yeah, could we have? If we just never pulled the lever? <sighs> hey, lady, you... Feeling all right? I imagine not. We need to get you to a hospital. Oh, free at last. Where even are we? I want dinner. So, um, as you know, I'm Jenny Wilde. <laughs> kind of instantly recognizable, obviously. And what's your name? Angie. It's nice to meet you, Angie. And thanks for saving me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But what's an American movie star like you doing in a place like this? Oh, we just, uh, finished filming last week. I met some people, went to some parties. You know how it is. Not really. No. Hmm. <laughs> American. American movie star. You need some clothes, lady. Sorry, do you mind? Stress smoke. Still feel kind of bad about that other lady, though. Oh god, no, he's gonna come back. This antique wardrobe is most likely filled with Father Rob's stinky clothes. There are dozens of clergy robes hanging neatly on the rack. Salutis. I need a minute to rest. I thought I was already dead. He was either gonna cut me to bits with that big fucking slicer, or turn me into a sex slave in his stupid sex dungeon. Rob's a real piece of work. He'd probably do both. Ugh. The pot was the least of our worries about him. He was such a creep. How did you end up in the catacombs? Oh, I met Rob at a party. I think that was... Three days ago? Yeah. He must have put something in my drink, cause I remember feeling dizzy, and Rob offering to drive me to a hotel. And you know... I'm a big girl. I'm well aware you don't get into cars with men you just met, cause that's just asking for trouble. But he was a priest, for fuck's sake! Mm. I really didn't think he'd spike my drink, take me down to his secret lair, and try to fuck me. That man's a weasel. I had a feeling there was something wrong with him. 
but I ignored it. I'm not making that mistake again, so, before we go... Yes? This is so random. It is kind of late already. Should I? Okay. Tell me you're not hiding anything from me. I... Um... Fine. He didn't really drug me. He... Gave me some coke because he knew I wanted it. And we... Snorted it together. In one of the bedrooms. And... Oh, I'm so sorry. I knew it was wrong, but... It's alright. I'm not gonna judge you. I just wanted to know. That was pretty tame, huh? Ach. I, uh... I think I drifted away for a second. Uh... What did you say? It's nothing. Don't worry. Yeah, that was literally nothing! It doesn't mean anything! It doesn't change that he tried to kill you. It's not the part about how you're taking drugs. Like, that's consensual and whatever. But he tried to freaking slice you up with a saw. That's the problematic part. It's fine. I don't care. You hurt? Uh, no. Not really. I'm asking because I'm a nurse. I can give you a quick checkup. Oh, maybe later. Uh, I'll be okay for now. You sure? You're covered in blood. I got a, a few scratches on my legs. He uh, punched me once or twice. Smashed my poor little nose. But most of this blood isn't mine. That's... To be honest... I'd rather not talk about it. If you don't mind. I've... Seen some things down there that will... <sighs> last me for a lifetime. Sure. I get it. But she's a famous movie star? Missing for three days. Wouldn't people be looking for her already? And they didn't trace it to this guy yet? Oh, yeah. I wish I could have saved the other girl, too. The one that was screaming? She was dying right in front of me. And there was nothing I could do. So I used her as bait. Fuck. What did I do that? Hey, it's alright. It's not your fault. It's Rob that's guilty of all of this. And he'll pay for it, I swear. I'm trying to think if it was possible for us to do it without waking that girl. I feel like it's not though, because we already tried running. Running all around, and we just don't have enough time if we only rely on the record. Rest in peace. Mm. Do you think he's dead? Well, that would certainly sort out a lot of problems for us right now. But I doubt he is. Me too. That would be just too easy. Let's go. Wait. What's the plan? The church seems all locked up. We have the fence or something? Actually, I know this might seem strange to you, but there's something I want to try. You see, I think I can lead Rob into a trap. And how the hell are you going to do that? <laughs> I'll put a spell on a door. All he has to do is walk through it. Wow, what? sounds reasonable. <laughs> no, are you a witch? No. It's complicated. <laughs> you must be crazy. Maybe. But I really think this will work. And uh, how do you make the spell? Use my magic chalk. I must draw an X on a door with this piece of chalk. Then we simply wait for Rob to walk through it. A magic chalk? Huh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ugh, where do you even get it? <laughs> A strange cat like creature gave it to me. Um, right. <laughs> you sure a falling brick didn't hit you on the head back there? 
No, I'm not. But this is gonna work. I feel it. I'll start by getting up to the top floor. Then we'll set up the trap and attract Rob's attention. I'm pretty sure he's not far behind, looking for us. That's why we should have gone back down to kill him dead. We should have killed him. Why wait? Why let him get the one up on us, right? I think that might have been a little bit silly. Well, that's odd. Each of these benches has a small red button on the side. I wonder what these do. Oh god. Just randomly press buttons. Damn, there's no getting out this way. That's Jesus on the cross. One of the guards pierces his side with a spear, but wait, what's this? Handwritten note. Nine little lambs gathered before their god with wolf's face and prayed. But god with wolf's face was hungry, so he took the lamb closest to him and devoured her whole. The praying lambs took no notice, so he ran past them and ate the third from the back. The praying lambs took no notice. Still hungry, the wolf god ended his feast with a lamb that sat right in the middle. Once his belly was full, the gates of heaven opened and he returned home. Are there nine benches? Nine lambs. Closest, third from the back, and the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there are nine. Closest, third from the back, right in the middle. Fantastic. What kind of a creepy ass- Uh, Jenny? Where'd you go? What kind of a creepy ass church is this? It makes me sick to think that this evil man delivered his sermons here to all those unaware people. Locked. Locked. Do you want to go up? Well, just in case if anything bad happens, know that we can hide here, okay? Jenny? Because I noticed Jenny... Oh lord, do you really want to go back outside? I don't know about that. I don't... You know what, let's... No, we can't go back. That's it. What, so he, he knocked us out? At the farm and then somehow drove off with us? Back to his church and nobody noticed? I'm missing dinner! That's uh, the most delicious meal of the day! How dare you? Now you'll have to pay. Oh, it's dark up there. After the catacombs, are we really gonna be scared of a dark attic? Good point. I lost my flashlight at some point. Ugh, that's better. Red creepy lights. It's a solid wooden door. Oh! What is this guy's problem with young women? He thinks we're all sluts, I guess. But it's more complicated. Down in the dungeon, he wanted me to be his new mistress. Cause the old one. Well, she wasn't really up to the task anymore. Oh, oh no, already? Dude, we can freaking kill him. Okay, he can shoot through the wooden doors, so this door isn't gonna hold. I know you're hiding here. I'll find you. It's just a matter of time. Oh lord, I didn't save. He's here. And it sounded like he blasted the shit out of the back door. It's okay. We have another door right here. Ah! Oh. What if he destroys it too? I don't think he will. He wants us alive so he can, you know, Ooh. take us back to his sex dungeon? I ain't going back there. No way. Then let's set the trap. 
This seems like a good place. We should draw one everywhere. Done. Now let's lure Rob into my trap. You ready, girl? Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't save you too. Oh god, I hate these creepy ass men in these games. I wish I saved beforehand. It's been a while since I've done that. Okay. Oh damn! We should have just murdered him here! Whoops! I didn't mean to do this! I barely made it, but I guess now he knows where we are. I must hurry. It won't be long before he climbs up here. Did you really not mean to do that? Close the damn door. You destroyed half the church by the sound of it. It's fine. How is Rob gonna get up here now? There's another door leading to the attic. I'm sure he has the key for it. Right. So... Uh, what happens now? We wait. Hmm. Now this will either work... Or we're dead. <laughs> if I were Jenny, I wouldn't trust me. <laughs> I can smell you up there! Dirty whores! You in there? Keeping Millie company? How nice of you. You know, Millie had a hard time accepting Jesus into her heart. In the end, I ripped her chest open to let Jesus in. But enough of this dilly-dallying. Ladies, you'd better be ready. Your good shepherd is coming home. Oh my god, stop monologuing and come kill us already. Walk in, walk in. Ooh! All in a day's work. Alright, cool. Oh. Finders keepers. Stay here and wait for me. What? Why? I'm going after him. <gasps> We're gonna go back? We're gonna go kill him. Oh yeah, get that nicotine. Burnhouse Lane Cemetery. <coughs> oh, Andrew, we gotta kick that habit of yours. Alright, no worries. Father Rob's shotgun. Rob had it stolen from Kieran's caravan. Now it belongs to me. This custom made weapon fires both barrels at once. It packs hell of a punch, but requires reloading after each shot, and is effective only in short range. Got six bullets. Or we could just dash past. That's totally okay too, right? Well, not anymore. <laughs> Five second cooldown. Mmm, fires both- oh! So actually, we only have three shots because it fires two bullets at the same time. Maybe I should save these bullets. Oh. Okay. Coming from behind us. Oh shoot! Dodging didn't work. If I want to save a few bullets, we should probably dodge the beginning ones, not the ending ones. There's two 
consecutive ones later on. There you go. It's gonna come after me though. Let's hurry up. That works. Is there any point in me saving the bullets? I'm not sure. But I'll save it anyway. Hey buddy, you left your gun! I forgot your gun! What? Get the hell out of my way, you stupid- Oh! Cat in sheep's clothing. And as the wolf opened his jaws to swallow the lamb, he found there was already an even bigger wolf hidden inside the lamb. The tables turn quickly if you're not careful. And when you live a wolf's life, You've got to know there is a price for each drop of blood that you spill. Sooner or later, you'll have to pay it. Thank you, Angeline. This is the man I wanted. I never told you Angeline was my full name. Your first task is completed. It's time to end it. Unless... Well... You have his gun, and a first-hand experience of being his victim. Perhaps this kill belongs to you. I'll let you choose. Mmm, I'm not a killer at heart. And I kind of want to see what you would do too. You, you can do whatever, it's okay. I've done enough. He's all yours now. Very well, then. Ooh! Feeding time. 